What's up? Danny High Soccer with Call One Eight, helping people do their business better. And today we have Tony Poor, right? Contact Center Practice Lead for Channel of Eight by Eight. So, uh, Tony, when it comes to CCAS, what are some things that customers need to know uh, that's important so that they can keep their business going, especially the contact center? Hey, Danny. Uh, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Uh, that's a great question about CCAS and, and remote agents in particular. Um, one of the biggest things to understand about Contact Center as a service is that it's a hosted platform. And so a lot of the limitations that we have with our legacy on-premise platforms don't really exist in the cloud. For example, um, you know, in today's environment, if you've got a legacy platform, uh, all your communications, all your telephony, all of the applications that the agent is accessing, all of that is probably tied back to a server that might you know, physically be on location for you. Uh, that makes working from home difficult, right? You have to figure out how to get the audio to the agent, how to get access to them. Um, in a hosted environment, that's not really the case, right? The PBX is sitting in the cloud. All of the applications are sitting in the cloud. So the agent just has to be able to log in and they'll be able to get not only everything that's on the agent desktop, but also all of their agent audio as well as whatever other applications they need to use. Other thing to keep in mind with regards to working at home agents is you know, in the old environment, a lot of the information that they needed to do their job might not have been on the computer, right? It, it might have been printed out and stuck on a cubicle wall. It might have been on the walls around the contact center. There's a variety of ways that information is shared. That data, if the agent needs it, you need to make that part of your communication solution as well. And of course, it all becomes easier if it's all part of one consistent cloud solution. So I, I think the biggest thing to understand with regard to CCAS or hosted contact center in general is it gives you a ton of flexibility in terms of where you have your agents and how you route your transactions. Nice. And so uh, one question that we get regularly is what's the difference between UCAS and CCAS? Is there like some key different, uh, differences uh, that you can share? Excellent, excellent question. Um, so UCAS is Unified Communications as a Service. Um, CCAS is Contact Center as a Service. Unified Communications generally includes telephony, obviously, but then it also includes all of the other communication options that you might utilize with your organization, like internal chats, right? Uh, could be video meetings or video chat rooms, any of your meeting platforms, any of the tools you use to communicate internally as well as externally with your customers. Contact center is a little bit more robust than that, right? It, it, now, obviously, when we think of contact centers, we might traditionally think of agents with headsets just answering phone calls. To a certain extent, that's still true. Um, but today's contact center doesn't just include phone. It also includes uh, email. It includes web chat. It includes social media, a variety of other options that those contact center agents deal with. Now, when we think of it as a service, it just means that it's hosted. Right. So is your telephony platform and your communications platform hosted and is your contact center platform hosted? Um, in a lot of cases, the contact center leverages that UCAS piece. Right. It's going to leverage or take advantage of some of that telephony. Um, in some instances, it's, it's a totally separate silo. Um, at 8x8, one of the big things we bring to the table is the fact that we've got UCAS, we've got a hosted a communications platform, as well as a hosted contact center platform. So we can bring all that together on a, under one umbrella, or we can separate it out if you need to. But the key is uh, your contact center services are going to include things like, you know, how my agents can handle those interactions. How do I route those interactions more effectively? Um, it's going to deal with things like um, IVR. Uh, it's going to deal with things like quality management, call recording, all of those more advanced features that you, you might not care about as much for your just general office users who just might be using things like instant messaging or the telephone to communicate with each other. Contact center is more uh, of the I'm dealing with my customers in a strategic and, and specific way. Um, and, you know, the, the hosted element of that allows you to manage that contact center from anywhere. Nice. Uh, here's just a quick question. So in terms of like when contact center agents were physically in the buildings, uh, they used hardware, yeah. like a training Y uh, for the you know, supervisor can come in and, and listen in on a phone call to a physical cable. Uh, yeah. How do they do that right now or remotely? Yeah, very, very good question. And one that comes up quite a bit when we when we talk about moving people from an on-premise environment into the cloud. So when you think about a traditional um, environment, whether it's just telephony or whether it's also contact center, 
um, the legacy environment, all of that, um, all of those applications were sitting probably in a server room back in the, in the IT department, right? So they're physically on premise. What that meant was that if I wanted to tie into your phone lines or branch into your phone lines or anything like that, I needed to be on site. And sometimes I was using physical devices to do that, like those Y cables you talked about. In a, in a cloud environment or a hosted environment, all of that application hardware doesn't exist on-prem. It's all in the cloud. It's all at a separate data center that is invisible to you guys as the end user. So whether I'm physically sitting in the same building three feet away or whether I'm 3,000 miles away, it doesn't really matter. I'm using the internet to talk to that contact center server, and that's where all of my audio is, is transpiring from. So to get to the heart of your question, if I'm a supervisor and I wanted to monitor an agent, I don't need to physically go plug in a cable. I could do it from my computer, right? I'm just going to listen from the speakers, the headset that I've got associated with my laptop. Now, I don't care if that computer is, like I said, it could be in the next room or it could be on the other side of the country. It doesn't really matter to us because the audio, we're just, we're just talking to that cloud-based contact center server and, and looking at the audio that way. In addition to audio, we can also monitor agent desktops. So I could see what they're doing, um, not only while they're on a call, but while they're not on a call. If I wanna monitor what's taking, uh, what's happening on the agent's desktop, I, I can do that. But again, it's all happening uh, from my computer as opposed to me standing side by side next to the agent. Now, with that being said, there's a, there's a lot of customers who say, well, I still wanna be with my agents. I still want to walk around and do that. And that's fine. I mean, I could, I could monitor transactions from a, from a tablet. I could use my, my smartphone. I, I have all the information. It's all in the cloud and I can access it from whatever device I want, whether it's one of these, whether it's a, a computer, doesn't really matter. Uh, but monitoring becomes a lot easier because you're no longer required to be physically close to a person. You certainly could be, but you could be anywhere. That means if I'm a supervisor and I want to monitor them from my vacation home, Great, I can do so. Um, it also gives me a lot of extra capabilities in terms of looking at data and metrics because that now also is available online. I don't have to look at a wall board that's in the back of the room, right? I could see that information, again, on my, on my tablet, on my computer. All those data points that used to have to be physically together, I can now access those from anywhere. But monitoring and, and keeping track of agents is a, is a big piece of it. Um, all of your modern CCAS platforms are going to have capabilities for remote monitoring, uh, call recording, scoring, evaluation, training. All those things are, are typically part of a, of a modern contact center. That's awesome. That's awesome. So um, let's see if I, if I have any other things that, that folks reach out to me on, on a regular basis about. Um, but, I mean, you've answered pretty much all of it. So speaking of monitoring, right? So, you know, Typically, yeah. call center manager can walk the floor. So what, what are some, some monitoring yeah. tools yeah. that are available through uh, 8x8? Yeah, so in line with, uh, in line with the ability to, to monitor over my computer, right? I can, I can live monitor calls. I can live monitor the desktop. I can listen in. I can barge in. Um, I also have the ability to access all sorts of different data points and metrics, right? We mentioned things like the wall boards. I can see that information, but I don't have to be looking at a wall board to do it. I could get that sent to my desktop. I could build my own miniature dashboard that has, you know, the three or four statistics or metrics or KPIs that I care about. Since it's all in the cloud and it's it's consumable in a in a way that you can kind of design on your own, it lets you pick and choose what you want. So, it, Danny, if, if you wanted to look at, you know, the number of calls that we've taken for the sales team today, but a different manager only cared about the customer service group, Hey, that's fine. I can pick and choose what data different people see, and I can make that available to them in whatever fashion that they want. So there's a lot of data available that way. Modern contact centers also keep track of things like the voice of the customer. So I can either through things like call surveys or through speech analytics and call recording, I can understand what my customers are saying at any given time. So it's one thing to walk around the floor and, and get a sense that, yeah, hey, Danny's a good agent because he's, you know, he's friendly and he's got a nice speaking voice. It's another thing entirely to be able to look at a report that says, hey, Danny took 300 calls last week and here's how many sales he made. And uh, by the way, on 85% of Danny's calls, he's using the appropriate uh, language. He's using positive keywords. He's using the appropriate selling language. 
Um, and, and on a certain subset of calls, maybe there's some things we need to work on. But I have visibility to all that information that, you know, even if I was sitting side by side with an agent, I might not necessarily get unless I listen to every single transaction. So the power of the cloud and the power of all these other capabilities gives us the, 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 the ability to, to take all this data and digest it, right? Make, make these bite-sized chunks that I can make sense of and then take action. I can spend a lot less time reacting to what my agents are doing and a lot more time being proactive and putting a strategy together to, you know, to say, how do I make this agent better than he already is? Yeah, so this has been fantastic. So now I'm gonna do a little plug for, for call one and, and Helen Direct here. So folks, uh, thank you so much, Tony. But folks, if you want to learn more about 8x8 and their CCAS solutions and even UCAS solutions, uh, we're gonna put some links in the description box below. If you like this type of video, don't forget to like, Subscribe, comment below, let us know what you'd like to see and we'll do our best to make it. Tony, thank you so much.